What is a hiatal hernia? I made videos in the past on the Critical Bench channel explaining what a hiatal hernia is and how I healed it myself. And those videos had so much success. So many comments of people saying that it worked for them, doctors commenting that they use it with their patients now, people saying that the video gave them tears of hope, and it really stuck with me. That was a video that made me realize that this is what I'm here to do. And since that video, I've gotten hundreds and hundreds of messages from people asking me specific questions. And so this video is the beginning of a hiatal hernia series where I will attempt to answer all your questions, share with you my knowledge and my experience regarding a hiatal hernia so you can heal yourself. First, let's talk about your diaphragm. Your diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle that separates your chest from your abdomen. It is your primary breathing muscle. We hear the term belly breathing all the time now, but all that means is that you're breathing using your diaphragm. When you breathe with your diaphragm, as you inhale, the diaphragm flattens out, pushing down, which pushes your internal organs out. That's where the term belly breathing comes from. Now, because your diaphragm separates your chest from your abdomen, structures need to go through. And these structures go through what's called hiatuses, or special holes in the diaphragm. And one of these structures that has to pass through is your esophagus, where food travels from your mouth down and into your stomach through this tube. What a hiatal hernia is, is a displacement of your stomach where it pushes up against the diaphragm, sometimes part of the stomach even pushing through the diaphragm into your chest cavity. Now there are different types of hiatal hernias. The main ones are sliding hiatal hernias, where a chunk of your stomach actually slides up into your chest. And the other type is paraesophageal hiatal hernia, where the stomach's not necessarily pushing up through the hole, but the stomach is pushing into the diaphragm. Now, it doesn't take much. The stomach doesn't need to be displaced that much for you to have problems with this hiatal hernia. How is a hiatal hernia caused? In a lot of cases, it's a direct trauma, an injury. In my case, it was a hockey injury where I slid into the boards on my belly and I hit my legs, so my legs curled up over my head and I had the wind completely knocked out of me. I was laying there for, I don't know how long, several minutes before I can come to. Uh, and it actually ended up, I had two disc bulges in my thoracic spine on top of that hiatal hernia. So for me, it was a direct injury. For you, maybe if you've ever had the wind knocked out of you, that could be the cause of a hiatal hernia or just years of a dysfunctional breathing pattern and a weak diaphragm can allow that stomach to push up. Also, if you have chronic cases of anxiety, that will cause the stomach to lift up into the diaphragm and maybe up even into the chest. So what is the major reason why a hiatal hernia is so destructive and causes so many problems in your life? It's because of one single structure, the vagus nerve. Now, for any of you that have a medical or an anatomical background, you know the importance of the 10th cranial nerve, the vagus nerve. I mean, it innervates so many different parts of your body. Just to name a few, your vagus nerve has connections to your heart, lungs, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, gallbladder, pancreas, kidneys, bladder, genitals, among so many different areas of the body. And the vagus nerve travels right through where this hiatal hernia occurs. So if you have a hiatal hernia, even just a small one where the stomach is pushing up into the diaphragm, this can pinch off your vagus nerve creating a cascade of problems down the line. 
For one thing, your digestion. We can look at the health of a person based on their digestion. How well are they digesting, breaking down the food, and how well are they absorbing that food? Now, vagus nerve has a direct impact on your hydrochloric acid, your HCL, which is the acid in your stomach that breaks down food. So if you have a dysfunctional vagus nerve, you will not have the appropriate acid in your stomach to break down food, which will cause all types of problems. Food will not be digested properly. What that means is that your body is smart. It will look elsewhere for the nutrition it needs. Over a long period of time where food's not even getting into your stomach properly, right? It's getting stuck. Your stomach's not producing the right acid to break it down. Your body will start to demineralize your bones, causing osteoarthritis, just to get the essential minerals and nutrients for you to survive. This will also mess with your endocrine glands, your hormonal glands. The entire endocrine system will become sluggish, specifically your adrenals and your thyroid. Your adrenals is essential for giving you energy, for getting out of bed in the morning, right? For releasing the adrenaline, the norepinephrine, epinephrine, and cortisol. So by having a sluggish adrenal system, you're going to be sluggish yourself. You're not going to have the energy you need. Also, your thyroid. Thyroid is what creates balance in your body. It's what gives you that homeostasis. It's what makes you function. So, hiatal hernia can cause problems with all the systems I just mentioned, your endocrine system, all your organs, because of its impact on the vagus nerve. And it's so underdiagnosed because doctors aren't really trained in the complexities and how insidious this hiatal hernia syndrome can be. And so what can we do about it? Now I'll make future videos because this is just the beginning of a series detailing the techniques that we will use to help bring your body back into balance, to bring your stomach back down and to bring yourself back into a state of ease instead of dis-ease. But the philosophy that I put together is this. First, we want to relax all the muscles in the abdominals, the muscles in the chest, between the ribs. We want to bring your entire torso into relaxation. We can do that by using magnesium oil, self-massage, or body work. We also want to bring the nervous system down into a parasympathetic state. Right? We just want to relax the body and the nervous system as much as possible. Then we will traction the stomach down. You do that by locating the lesser curvature of the stomach and gently tractioning it back down. I will share with you these techniques in a later video, but that's the idea, bring the stomach down. Then we wanna to tone up, we wanna strengthen the diaphragm so that stomach is less likely to push up through the diaphragm into the chest or simply just push up. We also want to have the proper eating habits to ensure that the stomach will stay in its place. And we want to have lifestyle changes to reduce anxiety in your life. Because remember, anxiety can push that stomach up into the chest, causing heart problems, breathing problems, and all the other problems that I mentioned. So again, this is just the beginning of a series. The videos that I've made on hiatal hernias in the past had such a dramatic impact on people's lives. And... This is just an attempt to keep that going. So many questions. Don't worry, we will get to the answers. I don't know it all. All I'm sharing with you is my knowledge of the structure of the hiatal hernia and what I've done to heal myself. Now, medical doctors, for the most part, aren't trained in the structural problems of a hiatal hernia because they're not really anatomists. They don't really look at the anatomy and the structure of the body. They look more at the physiology, right? So if you come to them with a hiatal hernia, they're gonna give you drugs to cut down the stomach acid to reduce your symptoms. And if that doesn't work, most likely they'll just do surgery, right? But that can be avoided. We can bring the stomach back down in a functional way, strengthen the muscles to keep it there, and then install the habits to keep you healthy. So hope this answered some of the questions regarding what is a hiatal hernia. Stay tuned for more. Yeah.